All right. I'm detecting with David today. We're out along a busy intersection out here. A lot of people local probably know it's 522. But we was told in here that there was a old foundation by the owner, which just lives right up over here. Anyways, tons and tons and tons of iron in here. Uh, looked like a burn barrel or something like that. So I come up into this little clearing up here. I thought, well, this looks like a good place for a home, home site. Not a single signal in here. But over here, if you're not new to the channel, you know it's one of my favorite digs. So I had to get it on video. But it's over here, and I mean, it is pretty nasty. Here soon, you ain't going to be able to detect it in here this year. Because the weeds are just going to take it over. But put the shovel down in the ground. And out pop one of my favorite digs. Let's check it out together here. Uh, old spoon. I don't think it's anything special, but of course it looks awful shiny, doesn't it? Well, if I clean it up and I, oh, look at that. That is pretty shiny, but I don't know. I'll have to get a closer look at it. And there is some writing on the back. I'm going to think it's probably not really silver. It's probably like a silver finish or something like that but i'm gonna go around here and try to hit in this stuff here see what else i can find and hopefully i'll be back with you real soon wow <clears throat> we're in an area that's well known for civil war but look at this tree you can't tell me that tree wasn't around during the civil war time that thing's huge three people couldn't get their arms around it Wish I could give you a reference of the size, but anyways, that tree's huge. All right, guys, I'm actually really disappointed. Um, screaming hit on the Equinox. Really was getting my hopes up, thinking it was going to be something great. So, I mean, I was literally planning on retiring after this find. But let me tell you, this comes out of the ground. Freaking like some, I don't know, great value cow udders or something. I don't know. I don't even know what they are. I was trying to make up something. I was trying to make up something, maybe some sort of military artillery shell or something. But honestly, I think it's just some sort of nipple. It's stupid. Uh, using a simplex, but today I'm using it in field mode. Uh, I was told the field mode gets a little deeper. You got to get it a little slower. This place has been ransacked. But already, this is my very first dig of the day. It's a three ringer, Civil War bullet. Of course, you can see it's been shot, but still, very first dig, Civil War bullet. I'll take that. Here's a here's a pretty good little find. I don't think it's that old. I'll look it up when I get home. Looks like an old liquor bottle of some sort. But it's embossed really nice. Old Mr. Boston. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light. We're starting to run out of light here. But that'd be a pretty cool little bottle to clean up and put up. All right, as I was saying before, this area has been hunted really, really good. Uh, I'm trying to get where a lot of other people hasn't gotten. So I'm over here, and it's pretty steep. Uh, almost looks like a carved bullet. You know, that was just the way it was shot, but almost looks carved. But anyways, trying to get in where people don't get, and I'm getting under logs and different things. So this is my fourth bullet pulled out of the ground today. So that's four Civil War bullets saved. Uh... I'm getting ready to go down this long stretch here and then the, the vehicle will be down here so i don't know how many more i'm going to find but this is the place that jordan found his very first large scent he's going to link it up in the corner of the screen up here if you want to you can go back and see him pull that large scent it was a, a nice little large scent and quite a few bullets come out of the ground that day all right guys a little sketched out here don't know um 
it, I'll just go ahead and read it to you. So it says three for a dollar. All right, liquid latex, disease prevention, and it's guaranteed for five years. I don't know if this is some sort of, how should I say this, um, early 1900s birth control, a.k.a. rubbers, a.k.a. Uh, red rocket covers. Uh, how else? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to touch it too much because it does say uh, disease prevention. So whoever uses these might have a disease. I'm going to use it with extreme caution. I'm going to probably use my shovel. And just uh, let's take my shovel right here and scoop her on up. Yeah, just, yeah, kind of, actually, you know what, just put it back in the hole. It's probably why somebody buried it. All right, but just let me know if I'm in the clear, guys. Kind of, I'm a little sketched out right here. I don't want to touch it too much. Ew. All right, right there it is if somebody wants it. Love you, bye. When you're digging Civil War bullets and stuff like that, buttons, you're going to dig a pile of these. You just got to stay... You gotta say you gotta stay persistent just keep digging the signals that you normally dig and the bullets will come to you and this is my third bullet already definitely the last two were definitely civil war i'm thinking this is a small caliber still a civil war bullet probably a pistol uh it's got the right patina and everything to it so i'm pretty sure it's probably going to be a small pistol bullet like i said we're in a well hunted area so I'm trying to get to places that other people don't get, like in between little trees and stuff like that. And it's starting to slowly pay off. Okay, I'm right, literally, four feet away from that humongous tree. And I got about a 6263 on the simplex. And you can see some kind of little buckle. I don't think it's Civil War period, but hey, I ain't in the middle of the woods like I am. I'll take a little buckle like that. That's pretty cool. There you go, guys. Here's a pretty cool little find. I was reading the cap, of course. But it looks like it might be some kind of skin cream or something. I don't know if you can see that. Luxor. Luxure. But it looks like a nice little milk glass container. I'm going to set that to the side. I'll probably grab that before I leave. I don't know what I just found. I'm kind of excited, but I don't want to get my hopes up. This was coming up a 7273 on the simplex. It sure looks like a coin. But if it is, dang it, it's going to be smooth. I think I see a shank there in the middle, but that's got some age to it. That's really cool. I'm going to give a yell for David and see if I can get him over here. But I'm going to say that's some kind of a button. A big flat. I don't know if that's what they call a dandy button because it's about the size of a 50 cent piece. I don't, that'd be nice if that was a George Washington button. But uh, I'm not seeing anything on the front. If I get something off of it, clean it up, I'll let you see. Oh, there's that infamous big tree. David just yelled coin. He's about, I don't know, 10, 15 yards away from the tree. Looks like a nick, we said. Right there, you can catch the rim of it. I'll let him pull it out of the ground. Can't really tell what it is yet. Maybe we get a little cleanup on it. Hopefully it's something older. Maybe a uh, buff. Maybe a buffalo nickel, maybe. All right, we're running out of daylight here, but I can see it in the camera, so I know you guys can see it there at home. Uh, buffalo nickel. All right, in the woods here. Pretty good little uh, save right there. Looks like the Indian head side is a little toasty, but the good thing is the date should be right below that buffalo, so... Maybe he can get a date off of it. Nice buffalo nickel. Right now is a no dater. Here's probably gonna be one of my last finds of the night probably cause it's really starting to get dark on us. But anyways, if you can see across the top there, it says Maryland, April. But when I flipped it over, I could see it was an actual April 52. 
so pretty cool i guess if it would have been in a little bit better shape i found them a lot better shape but 